Welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about reporter and commentator Jason Whitlock calling Deion Sanders morally bankrupt. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Jason Whitlock is one of the great reporters of all times. He worked in Kansas City for many of years writing spectacular columns about sports. He went on to work at ESPN and FS1 having shows. But over the past few years, Jason Whitlock has went completely right-wing conservative, and it seems like he has criticism of anyone who happens to be black in the public. His next victim was Deion Sanders, who was at Jackson State. He told plenty of people there that he would stay there and he would help grow the program. But we finally seen the corruption that was going on at that university and the president was finally fired. But we know how college coaches talk when they come to a university. They would like to stay there forever. But if something happens that's bigger, something that happens that can grow whatever they want to sell, they will go to their university. And Colorado came with a five-year, $29 million contract. They had new facilities telling Dion that they will help him build a top five program. And that's why he left and went to Colorado. But over the first two games, he has been extremely successful. 45-42 win against TCU. And today, a 36-14 win against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Deion Sanders has the Colorado Buffaloes program moving in the right direction and with serious momentum. But Jason Whitlock believes that Deion is playing the race car. He's making all sorts of allegations against Deion Sanders in his morality and the way he's running his program. Deion Sanders told each one of those players the first day that he came to Colorado that many of you won't be here. And he told them the truth and they're not there. He replaced them with better players. This is a new college football system with NIL deals where basically players are their own free agents in college football. They can move anywhere, anytime, any place after the season is over. And Dion has taken advantage of that situation, bringing his sons and Travis Hunter over from Jackson State and several other players, but also bringing top recruits from other programs who are not satisfied with playing time or want more, more attention from the NFL scouts and they have an opportunity to show their skills. But we see that Jason Woodlock is going at Stephen A. Smith. You can do that if you want to. He's going after so many high profile black people in America, basically saying they're moving us in the wrong direction. Now, I believe some of the things that Jason Woodlock says is true. I believe that over the past 50 or 60 years, the morality of our community has slipped into the gutter there's no shame in what people are doing. No one's being held accountable morally. You basically can do whatever you want to do. And it seems to be okay as long as you're on the right side of the political spectrum. I agree with that. But what Deion Sanders is trying to do is not only have a winning program, which he has to do, but he's trying to build men. He's trying to talk to him about morality. He's trying to say, hey, there's going to be plenty of people out there who are going to want to take advantage of your success and that you must control your own destiny. You must set up the atmosphere around you that will make you ready. But I will say this. I will say this, that this team that he is building right now he can build it in his own fashion. He can build it in his own moral pitch to these players, to their families, and say, if you come to this university, 
you will be well taken care of. I will look out for your son and daughter. And hopefully, if they don't go to the NFL, CFL, USFL, XFL, they will have an opportunity to be successful in their life. And a lot of this criticism that you see from the Jason Whitlocks, the Candace Owens, and so many other conservatives of blacks, is even though Dion is successful and he sells his program the way he does, the reason why he does that is because he knows that he can reach the parents. But he's still teaching morality. We know who Dion was, most flashiest player in NFL history, one of the greatest athletes in world history, and one of the great personalities. But we criticize some people for doing things a different way. And that's what Deion Sanders is doing. He's doing it in a different way. And it shocks people. He's doing it in a way that these young players can understand his reference point. And Jason Whitlock is an old school. Him and Deion is basically about the same age. But they see life differently. And I want... <coughs> people to understand that these conservatives that you see out here, it's a lot of money in black conservatism. They make buku dollars selling basically those talking points about family, crime, and those other issues that they see them talking about on Fox News. And Jason Whitlock needs to be held accountable. If a man is doing well, pat him on the back. I don't agree with everything you're doing. But this situation, <coughs> you're helping out young men become more successful in a different style. And a lot of people can't understand it. This is why you see the Tom Lugan bills. You saw... Uh, Chris Russo and other people come after Deion Sanders because they don't like the way he does. It's not the old style way of building a program. He has his own style. He has his own way of reaching players. But I'm telling you, he's doing the right thing by helping these young players not only become great athletes and football players, but becoming great men and that's the key a lot of these young men never had men in their lives and Dion is that father figure that many of them have been looking for I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight I hope you subscribe to this channel smash that like button but also share this video